exact maybe duration and the dose specifically what dose and duration should be followed uh, yeah gross this is very pertinent question we have two type of setting in heart failure <clears throat> patient may present to us with chronic heart failure in our out day outpatient practice this is the time where very safely and easily you can institute the fantastic four in the fantastic four we are initiating with the use of sglt2 inhibitor like dapagliflozone 10 mg once a day just keep a monitor on urinary tract infection the number two molecule is the metaprolol there to date there are three metaprolols which have been shown to be beneficial and have a mortality benefit in these type of patients they are the metaprolol carvedilol and bisoprolol today i am talking about metaprolol in metaprolol also we have various isomers the yes isomer is considered to have all the benefits of beta blocker while bypassing most of the side effects like namely the the beta 2 uh, blockade which is unwarranted and unwanted in these type of patients so metaprolol in the dose of uh, 12.5 to 25 mg dose has to be started the dose has to be escalated pertaining depending on the blood pressure and heart rate of the patient we tend to get to a tune of 100 mg 50 to 100 mg per day that is the dose of beta blocker these two drugs are started in our opd practice whereas those patient and the other two drugs like the arni and the mra they are also been initiated in a uh, in a upcoming fashion the dose for sglt2 is full dose at the start 10 mg once a day we have to start at the onset whereas arni is slowly upgraded we start sacubutral valsartan combination 50 mg twice a day and try to titrate up as 100 mg twice a day patient needs to tolerate it the absolute contraindication for this arni is patients with known angioedema they should not be tried with arni second thing monitor the renal functions and serum creatinine level one word of caution about uh, use of arni if our patient was previously on ac inhibitors you have to give at least 36 hours washout interval for these patients otherwise it is going to have side effect and it is not recommended to use concurrently ac inhibitors with arnis coming to the <clears throat> mineralocorticoid receptor antagonist aldosterone antagonist like in the form of 25 mg per day can be escalated up to the maximum tolerable dose 100 mg per day various trials have shown that this is not only prevents arrhythmias heart failure and have mortality benefit it causes lot of symptomatic benefit and uh, survival benefit in these type of patients coming to those patients who come to in an emergency to your hospital with heart failure hospitalization here a word of caution the word of caution is you have to see the hemodynamics of patient the reason for precipitation of heart failure and accordingly you have to manage the fantastic four if the bp permits the beta blockers are to be started for in hospital sglt2 have to be started after ruling out urinary tract infection low dose arni on day 5 or at the time of discharge in the form of 25 50 mg twice a day can be instituted and we can monitor as we discuss whereas mras can be started on day 1 day 2 of admission itself well noted sir uh, your message is much elaborative and insightful and i hope all those who are watching to this must be getting the benefits in terms of their day to day clinical practices so with that note i would like to stop and would like to thank uh, dr rizwan sir for his all the message given today on this platform thank you sir thank you very much